Hi, this is TW, another one of my TW on SI vlogs, and I'm wondering why is Staten Island called Staten Island? Well, in 1609, an English explorer named Henry Hudson sailed into the upper New York Bay on his ship, the Half Moon. You gotta love it, the Half Moon. The Dutch named the island Staten Island, which literally translates into States Island. And that was named in honor of the Dutch Parliament, which is still known as Staten General, or States General. Now, Staten Island is shaped like a triangle, 13.9 miles long, 7.3 miles wide, total of 60.9 square miles. What was here then in 1609? Well, before Henry Hudson's naming of Staten Island in 1609, there were the Hackensack and the Raritan Indian tribes here. It wasn't until four years later in 1613 that the Dutch established fur trading posts both here in Staten Island and in Manhattan. And it wasn't until 1661 that the then governor Peter Stuyvesant permitted the first permanent European settlement of 19 Dutch and French settlers in Old Dorp, Old Dorp, which is now South Beach. Old Dorp became New Dorp. In 1683, Staten Island became known as Richmond County, named after, of all things, the illegitimate son of King Charles II, known as the Duke of Richmond. So we're named after an illegitimate son. <laughs> you gotta love it. This is all how everything started 400 plus years ago. Today, the population of Staten Island is at least 475,000 people. Yes, it is the least populated of the five New York City boroughs, but it is the third largest in square miles. As noted, the island is shaped like a triangle, so 13.9 by 7.3 miles wide, and very much worth noting. Nearly, well, one half of this island is Green Belt and Parks. Half. So it's a great place to live and work. And if you'd like more videos on things Staten Island, things real estate, please subscribe. Thanks for joining me. This is TW and TWNSI. Stay well.